two days later, he said he could still smell my perfume on him. Now, I don't know how. What's up guys welcome back to another fragrance video so in today's video we are going to be talking about my top 10 must-have fall fragrances and this video is sponsored by scentbird i want to thank scentbird for sponsoring today's video and sending over four fragrances that i wanted to try well actually three because i actually already have one but i love the fact that scentbird has now they house niche fragrances as well as designer fragrances so you can try it before you buy so if you didn't know about scentbird i'm here to tell you that it is literally that girl i mean it's not a girl but it's that girl because you get a nice amount like the sample amount is a nice amount for literally only about eight dollars a month especially if you use my code Payton, which will give you 55 percent off but enough about that we're going to get into that a little bit more let's talk about the scents that they sent me and yeah so now they got new packaging like i've been working with Sandbird long enough to know hey y'all done switched it up okay so I love that you get these little cute travel friendly packages. Love that, right? So this is definitely a new package. It locks, which is perfect for um, traveling um, and like putting in your purse, storing it in your purse so it won't spray um, while it's like in your purse, but it also easily opens. And as you can see, you get a nice amount. All right, so the first fragrance is Monique Lulier. I don't think I chose this one. I think I chose two, and then they sent me two additional fragrances. It's like a surprise free gift. So this is an airy and luminous eau de parfum with notes of Sicilian bergamot and freesia evokes the serene feeling of walking through a blooming garden on a fresh dewy morning. So this gives me feminine, okay? The, the notes are Sicilian bergamot, cassis, freesia bouquet, ylang ylang and lace wood so let's give this a whiff this is the nozzle here and you can easily just turn it to lock it so you can't spray and then turn it so you can okay so yes this is this is very feminine i would have to spray this on my skin and smell it on the dry down but right now it's too feminine for me Okay, so this is Tiziana Terenzi's Spirito Fioritino. Wow, that is a tongue twister, okay? A tongue twister. And I love how they send the cards that basically explains everything, what this is supposed to give as far as like when you wear it, um, if it's airy, if it's fresh, if it's fruity, if it's woody. It tells you all of that in the notes. <clears throat> So this one says, Tiziana Terenzi's Spirito Fioritino Extract de Parfum is a rich, fresh fragrance featuring notes of orange, ylang ylang, magnolia, sandalwood, and birch. This luxurious scent is inspired by the rich history and traditions of Florence. So this has orange, saffron, ylang ylang, amber, and sandalwood. This is supposed to be um, a sister, if you will maybe like a big sister to Mason Curtijan Baccarat Rouge 540. So let's give it a whiff. It definitely is. It def, wow, wow. This honestly smells like Baccarat Rouge. On a good on a good old protein shake with muscles. Then yeah. You know what I want to say, but I ain't gonna say it because it's a sponsored video. But yeah, it, this smells like back where I rouge been in the gym, working out, pumping. This is good. Oh my god. I am so happy that they have this on Sinbird because I wanted it, but because I already have 
Back where I rouge, I didn't want to spend four hundred dollars for it because Tiziana Terenzi is high. Yeah. Oh, this is so good. Yes. Okay, babe. This is one that I chose actually too. All right, the next one is Deck of Scarlet Maximalist, which I so am. I want to be a minimalist so bad, but baby, I'm not a minimalist to save my life. So this is what the bottle looks like if you buy it. The top notes in this is crisp pear, sparkling bergamot, silky jasmine, amber woods, and whipped vanilla. This is given feminine. Let's see. Mm, okay. This is definitely feminine, but I like it. And I'm going to tell you why I like it. It's the amber woods in it and the vanilla that's making me like it. So it's feminine, but honestly, I feel like this could go both ways. Okay, Deck of Scarlet. Okay, and the next one, I actually own this one. This is Initio's Oud for Greatness. Um, I already have the actual bottle. This is one of my all-time favorite perfumes that I wear year-round. So definitely a fall fave. The notes in this one is agar wood oil, lavender, saffron, patchouli, and musk. Now, a lot of my scents tonight that I'm going to be talking about have saffron in it. I love it. It's a mood elevator. It, like, literally, it just amps up any scent that you have. Even if I'm not, like, too keen or fond of the other notes that are in a scent, if saffron is in it, I can almost guarantee you that I'm going to love how it smells. This is great. This is a great one you cannot go wrong with. Initials Oofa Brightness. And I can attest it smells exactly like the bottle. So, yes, all of the scents from Scentbird are wholeheartedly authentic. Okay, you will get what you would buy if you bought the original full bottle. Okay, oh, I am so glad that they got this on Scentbird because listen. I love my Initio Oud for Greatness so much. I don't like to travel with it because I'm afraid it's going to get stolen or I'm going to forget it or it's going to break. So the fact that Scentbird now has it where I can just carry the little small vial and you get so much golden. So yeah, I highly recommend you guys to sign up for Scentbird. All you have to do is click my link in the description box below. Use code Peyton for 55% off your first month. That's only about $8 a month. And not only that, but they now ship to Canada. So thanks again to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get into the top 10 fall fragrances that you need for this fall and winter. All right, so these aren't going to be in no particular order. I'm just basically talking about my top 10 fragrances for fall, okay? Okay, that means Royal Sapphire has definitely answered the chat for fall fragrances that you need, that you didn't know you need. This one is, oh my God. This one is so good, okay? It smells absolutely amazing. It's very nostalgic. A man can wear this. A woman can wear this. It's beautiful right it's kind of fruity though because the notes have a lot of fruit in it so you have the top notes is mandarin orange and bergamot the middle notes is orange blossom and jasmine and the base notes is amber oak moss patchouli and woody notes this one is so good when i wear it it reminds me of two male fragrances that are just every time i smell anything that remotely smells like it I gravitate towards it. So it reminds me of Fahrenheit and Jew. And those literally, when I was little, like if I smelled that on a man, it would drive me crazy. Now, don't get me wrong, I was too young for them, but still, they, they were head turners. This reminds me of that. The first time I wore this was to Alex Osley's concert. I did layer it with a body butter that kind of made it smell a little different, but still got a lot of compliments. One guy even invited me into his section. I feel like it was the perfume. I mean, I was cute that night too. Don't get me wrong. It's all about like chemistry, how you smell, how you look. All of that plays a huge role in it. And this one is absolutely amazing you cannot go wrong with this and this the the retail price on this one is 285 
I love how this smells. I feel like it is very much a fall and winter fragrance. When I wore it, it was more summer. Um, and I feel like my skin kind of really just ate it up. But at the same time, like I said, I layered it with a body butter. So I feel like you can smell more of the body butter than this. So I'm definitely going to, you know, test this out and see how it performs in the cooler seasons. But definitely a fall must have. So good. Oh. All right, the next one is going to be Fragrance Dubois Cavort. Okay, this one right here, this one's that girl, definitely that girl. Okay, so this is like a warm, spicy, it has a lot of accords going on, but warm, spicy, woody, amber, rose, blah, 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 blah. The top notes on this one is Saffron, Devana, Geranium, cinnamon, middle notes is ylang ylang, rose, jasmine, orange blossom. The base notes is incense, patchouli, sandalwood, and labdanum. That's that's interesting. This is so good, okay? This is so so good. I've worn this a few times already. It's a head turner, okay? This is an intimidating scent. I think I feel like a man can wear this definitely. This is unisex. A man and a woman can wear this. I feel like when a woman walks up wearing this scent around a man that knows this scent, it's intimidating, right? It's like, what you know about this scent? Yeah, 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 I know about it. I know about it. Let the church say, and what about it? Because I know about it, okay? The retail price on this bad boy, ooh, pretty penny. It's $3.85, but it is so, so worth it because when I tell you it lasts so long on the skin, you do not need to spray a lot. I'd say about five sprays if you're going on the clothes, maybe um, once on the post points, behind the uh, ears, wrists, behind the knees, boom. You're good if you want a skin scent. But if you spray it on your clothes, of course, you're going to get a more potent um, version of it. And it definitely is going to last long. This is going to be in your collection for years. I mean, to finish this bottle, it would take a lot because this does not take a lot of sprays. You do not need to overspray this. You will give yourself a headache. This one is a power punch, okay? Definitely a must-have for fall. All right, the next scent, in my honest opinion, does not get talked about enough, but it is a powerful, powerful scent. I honestly feel like you only need to spray this one time because it is very, very strong. It projects, and I'm telling you, it turned heads. I, the first time I smelled it was on um, a, a friend of mine and I literally was telling her she smelled good the entire night like every time she moved she could just because one thing about the bob girl you smell so good I was telling her she smells so good all night the scent that I'm talking about tonight is Cartier Le Panther this is a powerful citrus scent it's fruity earthy woody all of that and the notes in this one is dried fruits, rhubarb, big strawberry, a nice bergamot. The middle notes is gardenia, rose, ylang ylang, orange blossom, and pear. And then the base notes is oak moss, musk, leather, and patchouli. It is good. It is strong. You do not need a lot of this. I'm surprised oud isn't in this because it is so strong. I'm telling you, it is so strong. Like, if you overspray this, please don't sit next to me. Because I will have the worst headache in my brain. You do not need to overspray this at all. This scent is so strong and will literally last you forever. This will be in your collection forever because it will take you forever to finish the bottle. You only need to spray this one time one time it is that strong the retail price on this is 169.99 so one of my most affordable scents tonight that i will be talking about and i'm telling you it is a power 
punch. It's not talked about enough. I don't know why. I know people that bought it and they say, I, you know, I just don't wear it enough. You got to wear it, but you got to know how to wear this. This isn't one that you spray here. You don't spray it anywhere here. I don't feel like it needs to be anywhere near your nose. Spray it one time on your pulse points. That's it. I promise you. People are going to smell it and you're going to get compliments. I've never had a perfume where I felt like I can only spray it in one place and it still projects. This is that girl. Next on the list is Tiziana Terenzi's Rosso Pompeii. This is definitely not talked about enough. I hear people talk about Tiziana Terenzi all the time, especially Spiritino, Spiritual Forentino. They love that one simply because it literally smells like a stronger Baccarat, but no one really talks about Rosso Pompeii. I do not know why, because this is a very unique scent, okay? When it comes to Tiziana Terenzi, I find myself smelling the fragrances, the house, and identifying it with something that I already have in my collection. I literally have not ran across any scent that smells remotely like this. It is so, so unique. So this is a citrus woody, and the top notes is grapefruit, almafi lemon, grapes. The middle note is ambergris, jasmine, magnolia, tuberose, and lily of the valley. And then the base notes is cedar, patchouli, wood, woody notes, and sandalwood. This bad boy is so freaking beautiful. Let me tell you, anytime I have ever smelled this, and I'm like one of those people like, because I have so many scents and when I find something that I love, I can smell it on someone when I, when, when, when they walk past or I'm, I can easily identify a scent on someone else that I own. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So I was recently in Miami and I was in Fendi buying, doing some shopping and um, a girl walked in wearing this and this is such a conversation piece, right? Because I, I I immediately knew what she was wearing. And I said, hey, are you wearing Rosso Pompeii? She was like, oh my God, like, who are you? And I'm like, oh, I have it too. She's like, no one ever talks about this perfume. Like I, this is, this is shocking that you knew what I was wearing. But I, like I said, I can... I have a dog nose like that's just it I just have a dog nose and this is so unique like if you're not wearing Rosso Pompeii then what are you wearing because I literally have never smelled anything else that smells remotely like this this is a very very unique scent and it's so potent and strong and just oh I love it I love it it's definitely a year-round scent I feel like it really is going to perform great in the fall and winter so the retail price on this bad boy is $350 I want to say I pay more for this at Neiman Marcus I'm not sure but the bottle absolutely beautiful like look at this bottle Tiziana Terenzi never really fails when it comes to the bottle in my opinion, the top alone, you can hit somebody upside the head with it. It's huge. Um, and it also comes with a smaller top. I don't know what I did with mine, but I love the bottle. It's so beautiful. I feel like you're paying mostly for the bottle, honestly, than you are the scent. But this is so good. Definitely a must-have for fall. Okay, next is one of my hidden gems that I hardly ever wear. I don't know why, because it's so good. This is Montal Hadi's Sensual Instinct. Oh, so I got a discovery set of like all Montal's perfumes. I mean, it was like 60 in there. So every day I was trying something different. And instead of me, I, I went to Cabo and instead of me packing a lot of different bottles of perfume, I took this discovery set so I can like try different scents while I was in Cabo. Um, and one night I was getting ready to go to dinner and I found this little small little sample. I sprayed it all over and the next day I literally could not walk in my room in my closet without smelling this 
this projects so well and performs so well in the summer i'm really eager to see how it's going to perform in the fall because i know that it's a year-round scent this is so freaking good now the bottle uh, it gives hairspray I will say that the bottle definitely gives hairspray, but the scent, if you can get past the bottle, the scent is so freaking worth it. Okay, you guys, it lasts so long on the skin and even your clothes. If you spray this on your clothes and you're not one of them people that like to wash your clothes, like right after you take it off and put it back, you hang it back up in the closet. You know, it's sweet. We all do it. Your whole closet will be smelling like this. I promise you. It's Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I would definitely wear this on my clothes more than my skin, honestly. Because, you know, it changes on the skin. But on the clothes, it pretty much, like, it doesn't really change on the dry down. So the top notes in this is roasted coffee beans. That makes it really different. I haven't seen that ever. The middle notes is praline. Like a freaking chocolate. What? Rose. And then the base notes is oak moss, amber, and cedar. Oh, so good. This is this is so Oh, it's just it's so good. Like it's sweet, but it's like intoxicating sweet. It's like addictive sweet. It's that like oh, let me just tear your clothes off of you. Is this unisex? Hell yeah, girl. All my all my perfumes pretty much unisex because I feel like if you really want to make a man crazy over you and spin the block, wear a unisex scent. He'll never forget you. Why? Because he's going to want to wear it too. Okay, next coming in is Will Germain's Passion Victim. This is a woody. This is a ember. This is a vanilla accord type scent. It is very beautiful. The First impression when I smelled this, I was like, oh, this reminds me of something that I already own, right? So I literally wore this one day and then I wore the other scent. And I'm th I'm gonna talk about this scent later on in this video as well. Because it reminds me of Pen Halligan's How Fetty. But when I wore it, wore this, it's totally different. I don't know. When you smell the bottle, it's like, oh, I have something that smells like this already. But not really. This is so perfect for fall. This is so freaking perfect for fall. And a woman and a man can wear this definitely unisex. Let's talk about the notes. So the top notes is Sicilian, Mandarin, Cypress, Spanish, Labdanum. Oh, baby, these names. Middle notes. Olibanum, Egyptian Jasmine, Rose, Mexican Vanilla, Amber, and Sandalwood. Oh, this is so good. Mm. Oh, wait. I feel like when you smell this on a woman, this is a woman that knows who she is, knows her worth. You know what I'm saying? She's emotionally intelligent. She will cut you off. Quick. Yeah. Let the church say and what about it? She ain't got no time for games. And she's not going to let you play in her face. Yeah. So the retail price of this beautiful bottle is $205. So it's not exactly breaking the bank. But it's definitely giving what needs to be gave in the fall and winter seasons. All right. Next up is Mason Cavelli's Santal Volcanique. This has easily become one of my new faves. Why do you ask? Because, girl, let me tell you. The way this stops traffic. This bad boy stops traffic. I get compliments from women. I get compliments from men. I get compliments from dogs. I get compliments from cats, babies, turtles, dinosaurs. Baby, they don't play about me when I wear this. This is heavy, okay? Heavy, heavy. You guys so heavy on me. Hell yeah, yeah. Let the church say and what about it? Okay, so let's talk about the notes. So this is sandalwood, ginger, cardamom, lime, cedar, coffee, musk, and ylang ylang. They don't really separate it by uh, top, base, middle. All of this is just wrapped in one in this perfect, I mean, it is perfect. 
And let me tell you how this performs. This performs so freaking well on the skin, but on the clothes and the skin, listen, compliments all night. I'm not really one to like spray scents on clothes, right? I like to spray it on the skin to really see how it performs and uh, mixes well with my chemistry. But the other day, I was just like, ch -ch 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 skin, clothes. Let me tell you, I spent the night over my homegirl house and when I woke up the next morning, this was still projecting like I had just sprayed it on my skin. This right here is powerful, okay? It's light and airy, so you don't really have to overspray. But if you do, just know you are going to project, turn heads, and it's going to last all night. I definitely would recommend wearing this on a date night. He's going to be all over you and going crazy about you, girl. He's going to be, oh, he's not going to smell this on anybody else. So every time you go on a date, I will wear this just so he'll think about you. Because let me tell you something. I'll tell y'all a little story time. <laughs> y'all be needing in order to go back. I wore this to a funeral. I walked in. And you, you, I don't even want to tell y'all this story because it's kind of bad. Okay, so anyway, I wore this to a funeral, right? I walked in the funeral. After the funeral, I went to a restaurant. And one of the guys that was at the funeral was in the restaurant. He was like, man, when you walked in, like, I couldn't take my eyes off you. Plus, you smell so good. I had this on. We ain't got to talk about the rest of the night, honey, but I had this on. I definitely had this on. And then two days later, now I don't know, I don't know how. I don't know how. Two days later, he said he could still smell my perfume on him. Now, I don't know how. Baby, baby get you this bottle. Get, get you a bottle of this. I, I might have hugged him. It might, it might, it, you, you, you knew it was a funeral. So it probably wasn't one of them long hugs. Because he said he could still smell me like two days later. I'm like, baby, how? So it's something in Santal Valkyrie. Don't play with that fragrance. It's something in it that rubs off. I bet you, I just spent the night over my friend girl house. I bet you anything, that blanket that I covered up in smells just like that perfume it's so good and so potent and it projects it's oh and the retail price on this is 260 dollars so not too bad um this uh, this is the 3.4 fluid ounce bottle so on twisted lily they they do have a smaller version for a more affordable price as well but you can always like try a sample try it before you buy it and yeah love it all right next up is pen Halligan's how fatty i love this scent this was a gift for one of my good friends ray he just knows my nose so much you know what i'm saying he just knows me pun intended okay so this is a wood warm spicy aromatic fresh spicy leather oud powdery rose amber citrus type scent like what okay for women and men definitely unisex the notes in this is cypress leaf saffron cardamom artemisia bergamot grapefruit bulgarian rose nutmeg jasmine i love this scent it is so good i have the lotion and the body wash and the perfume like i got the whole set this does retail for 265 so not too bad it is so so good lots of compliments definitely um uh, a trendy scent um but also very very unique like i said i felt like passion victim smells a lot like this but Honestly, when you put the two together, they smell nothing alike. Passion Victim does have like a hint of something. Maybe the cardamom in it. I don't know. It does have a hint of something that gives a little half-fetty. But once you spray it on the skin and it dries down, it does something something absolutely different than half-fetty does. This is so good. I barely, I, I rarely wear this. I don't know why. I think I'm going to take this on my trip. With me because this is this is freaking good so the base notes honestly has a lot of the same notes as 
um, Oud for Greatness. And you can definitely get the Oud out of this, in my opinion. This smells like a woman that is very assertive in what she wants out of life. Goal-oriented. Definitely got her shit together, though. When she walks in a room, her head is held high. She's very confident. You know, she stands firm on what she wants, and she does not um, negate the fact that she don't need a man. Definitely a fall must-have, okay? Next up, a fall must-have. I do not give this the glory that it should be given. This is so good. This is Dip Teaks Tempo. I don't feel like a lot of people talk about this. I don't know why. This is a good one. Oh! It is so good. The retail price on this is $205. Let's talk about the notes. So the main accords is aromatic, patchouli, woody, soft, spicy, warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, earthy, ozonic, balsamic, and aquatic. The notes in this is patchouli, mate, clary sage, pink pepper, violet leaf, and bergamot. This is so good. I've only... Y'all, I've only worn this one time. Ooh. Ooh, wee. I need to stop playing with this. I really be playing in this thin face. This is so good, y'all. Oh, I need to stop playing. I need I definitely need to wear this more. This is such a good fall and winter fragrance. I literally have just been sitting back waiting for the season to come so I can wear this and show. The F L. Ooh, we is good. Mmm. They don't talk. People don't talk about tempo enough. I don't know why. Maybe they don't like patchouli. I don't feel like the patchouli is heavy. But if you are a patchouli girl, you're definitely gonna love tempo. Tempo is so so good. All right. So that is basically my top ten fragrances for fall. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I do want to thank. Scentbird for sponsoring today's video again if you guys have any of these scents let's chit chat and talk about them in the comments let me know if you guys have any questions all links to the items that i talked about in the fragrances that i talked about will be in the description box as well i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give me a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe check out my vlogs and living alone series i also have some home decor videos as well definitely just check out the channel it's a variety of things on the channel that i think you guys will enjoy outside of fragrance videos but i'm happy that you're here and i hope you do stick around and subscribe and until the next video i will see you guys in another video really really soon